Hello 3D printer peeps and hello Creality fans. In an age where printers are getting bigger and fancier and more expensive, I'm here today with the adorable Ender 2 Pro. This little guy sticks to the format of the bed slinger and is basically a small version of the Creality Ender series. Some of you may also recognize this style of machine as it is very similar to the Prusa Mini. However, this machine is super affordable and I'm really excited to build it because I kind of like the idea of a tiny little portable 3D printer. So maybe you are watching out of curiosity or maybe just like me, you are sitting there with your own Ender 2 Pro in the box. Let's build it. The first thing I want to do is use an appropriate box opening tool, such as a screwdriver. You will gently cut the tape. While not cutting the box, the printer, or ourselves. Let's see what's inside. For all the flack Creality gets, this is a very nice quality cardboard box and everything is very well packed inside some very nice foam. And when it comes to printers and accessories, I really have no packing issues with Creality, period. The first thing you will see is the filament arm, the filament holder, a bag of parts, the plug, and underneath this tab right here, the Ender 2 Pro screen. You will also see the hot end peeking out, but you cannot pull it out. It's attached underneath. You need to grab this foam and pull it out. And you will notice the fan cover of the Ender Neo series. Unlike some of the bigger printers, this thing is together. So gently remove the printer from the foam together. Don't miss right here. Cute little handle is hiding. In the bag of goodies, you will find a little sample of white Creality filament. I like how they've got their little guy on there and this is stored nicely in a shrink wrap baggie. A whole bunch of little screws. Do not take them out of the bags. They are all labeled and the instructions will call to the specific label. Some couplers and a spare nozzle. A whole bunch of tools. A card reader and a memory card, which you will promptly throw in the garbage and replace with a quality card reader and memory card. Link in my description. And of course, the star of the show. The reason we bought all of this in the first place, our clippers. Everybody knows when you buy a nice pair of clippers, it comes with a free printer. That's everything in the box. Let's go ahead and put it together. Creality refers to this as the XY kit and this as the printer base. We are going to go ahead and pick up the XY kit and position it behind this little tab on the printer base. You are then going to get the bag labeled M416 and M545. Your printer came with a little Allen key that fits those screws. So we are going to take two of the M416 I'm going to stop when I make contact and not going to tighten it. Then I'm going to start the next one. Once both screws are in, then I will snug it up just a little bit. You will notice the bed might be in the way. The power is off and the stepper motors are disabled. So you can go ahead and move the bed out of the way if you need to. Next up is the M5 by 45. We have two of them. They're big like this. 
And we also have an Allen key in our bag that fits it. It is also big like this. We are going to turn the machine and gently tip it onto its side. This will expose two holes right here. Go ahead and put them in there. Then I will snug them both up. After that, we will carefully put the machine back upright. Next up is the spool holder. That will go right here. Unlike many of the spool holders on other printers, this one screws on using an M540. Just go ahead and work the spool holder in and slide the M540 down the hole. We will go ahead and tighten these with the same Allen key as the other ones. With the filament arm in place, you can go ahead and take the spool holder, push it behind, and simply twist it. It will go ahead and lock itself into place. The handle attaches right here. You will take two M5 by 14 screws and put them through the handle. The handle has a hole. That hole goes over the Z-Rod. Place your screws in the hole and pass your tool through the hole in the handle into the screw. Once you're done, if you wish to tighten them a little bit more, you can take the L section and stick it over the head of the screw and just give it a turn. And how cool is that? Your printer has a handle. Now that the printer looks like something, turn it around and let's start plugging things in. The first thing we're gonna plug in is right here. When you look at the cables coming out the bottom of the machine, notice they're labeled. They both say Z. However, they're two different sizes. One's gonna go to the Z stepper motor. One's gonna go to the Z stop switch. They only fit one in each. So plug the ones that fit into the ones that fit. Now we're gonna move up to the hot end. You will see there are three wires up here. One says E for extruder. Plug this into the stepper motor under your extruder. Yes, this is your extruder, not the hot end where the filament comes out. This one says X, that would be your X axis. That's the one the hot end rides on and it plugs underneath the stepper motor attached to it. These only fit one way. And finally, another one that says X. That one is hiding right there, and that is your X stop switch. Carefully get this in there. and clip it into place. That controls this little switch right here that the machine uses to know when the hot end has gone as far as it can. Next up is the screen. On the side of the printer, you will notice two holes. Before connecting the screen, we need to connect its cable. The cable is taped to the bed right here. Remove the tape and free the cable. Take the cable and plug it into the back of the screen. It only fits one way. Once you press it in, turn the screen around, line up the notches into the holes of the printer and simply press it down. 
It may not snap aggressively, but you will feel it snug into place and your screen is installed. Now would be a good time to remove this plastic protective film. Now that your Ender 2 Pro looks like something, find this memory card reader and inside you will see the memory card is already installed. Look down here by your screen and stick the memory card in the slot pins up. Simply line it up gently and then push it till it clicks. Pressing it in again will eject it. Now that your Ender 2 Pro is built, you might be anxious to turn it on, but don't do that just yet. The first thing you need to do is look behind the machine, right there, and check to see what the voltage says. In the US, I need 115. 230 is not acceptable. If in your country, 230 is acceptable, then leave it where it is. For me, I need to take a small tool, grab this little notch, and slide it over so that it says 115. Now I'm ready to plug it in right here. Before turning your Ender 2 Pro on, I want you to grab your hot end and move it slowly from side to side. I want you to see if there's any binding or tightness or if there's any excessive looseness in the belt, which is right here inside the top and bottom of this rail. If it's really loose, take this knob and turn it clockwise. If it's really tight, take this knob and turn it counterclockwise. It should be generally firmish, but not overly tight and not overly loose. The print head should move smoothly and gently side to side. If the hot end is wobbly and rocking back and forth or feeling as if it's rolling on a flat tire when it's moving, the belts may be too tight and the eccentric nuts may need to be adjusted. Looking down here at the bed, the same thing. The bed should move smoothly forward and back. It shouldn't feel like it has any flat tires or sticking points. If the belt is overly loose, you can turn it clockwise to tighten it. If it's overly tight, you can turn it counterclockwise to loosen it. I would make sure that it feels nicely firm, but not overly firm. And again, that you can smoothly move it. If the bed is wobbly and you can shake and rock the bed, the eccentric nuts underneath need to be adjusted. Unlike other more complex printers, the Ender 2 Pro's eccentric nuts are much easier to access. They are right here and there is only two of them. Simply put your wrench on that eccentric nut and give it a turn to make them tighter. If you're not sure which way to turn, give it a small adjustment. See if it gets looser or tighter. If it gets looser, go the other way. Make small adjustments at a time with each eccentric until there's no wobble left on this hot end and it moves freely and smoothly forward and backward. This is the side of the hot end and hiding right there underneath it is the eccentric nut. To loosen or tighten the hot end, you simply take your wrench, slip it over this eccentric nut and turn it to loosen or tighten. Also, don't miss the secret little compartment right here. Okay. Everything is connected and now it's time to turn it on. Press the little red button on the side of the machine up. To test all of our work, I'm going to home the printer. Click on the red button, scroll to motion by turning the knob right. Click on the red button, scroll to auto home by turning the knob right. Click on the red button to auto home.
and your Ender 2 Pro is now homed. And there it is. We have built the totally adorable Creality Ender 2 Pro 3D printer. You will need to do a bed tramming before your first print. This machine does not have an auto bed leveling probe, so we will be tramming the bed with the paper method. I will do that in a separate video. For those of you who are already comfortable doing the paper method, go ahead and do that the same way you would on any other printer bed, and this machine will be ready for its first test print. I am Greg Adventure, your instructor on 3drundown.com, and building the totally adorable Creality Ender 2 3D printer was today's adventure.